Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pikmin. This is episode 6, I'm Xenogino Matt, and yesterday we went back to the Forest Naval, looked for a few more ship parts, and boosted our numbers just a little bit. Today, we'll be going back to the Forest of Hope in search of more ship parts. Alrighty, so starting off today, I'm going to take out all the blues I can, I'm going to raise their numbers just a little bit, and get some of them working on some sap for the, uh, for new Pikmin later. Alright, take out this dwarf red bulb orb. Perfect. Oh shoot, I did not remember that there were sheer grubs here, and it looks like I actually won't pay for that this time. The rest of the sheer grubs here are female, and they are not the ones that attack Pikmin, so I'm good. So I got these guys working on that, have the rest of them carry those back. Get some working on this. Oh! Oh, he's breaking the bridge! Get off there. So yeah, shear grubs will actually attack bridges and other structures and kind of revert- or actually, it's only bridges. They'll like start eating away at the bridge and it keeps the bridge from you know, being fully complete if they're pick if the Pikmin are working on it, or if it is fully complete, they'll like make it retract. That can be really annoying. guys up. Nice. Got all of them and just two nectars. More nectar over there. I'm gonna get some reds out for some of the fights ahead. So there are only three ship parts remaining in this area. One of them is just up ahead. Now the reason I needed these blues is to drop into the water here and throw them up here. Okay, so now with everyone else working on that, let's go back to our red Pikmin. Take out some more of these bulb orbs. Ah, uh, do I have enough to bum rush him? Do I need to bum rush him? No. No, he can live. His existence is permitted for the time being. I'm destroying that so none of them get distracted later on when I dismiss them. Oh, down there in the water, those are wog poles. Those are the early evolution of the, uh, the classic Wally Wog. So one day, these will grow up to be a pain in the neck. But for today, they are mostly harmless. They just swim around.
This might be some wasted motion. I probably could have organized this better. Because I've got a couple things to do with the blues. I've got some enemies to fight. Hopefully we'll be able to get back at least two of the treasures today. I'd like to see all three. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back on planet Hokotate. Oh, to be back there by na right now. Do I need 30 blue Pikmin on that? No, let's get 25. No, no, no. Oh, you... Oh, don't fall in the water. Oh, okay, we're good, I think. Wait, no, we're not. There's one missing. Where? Oh, okay. So there's one from the last time we were here. Even though only, like, one or two died over there. There's still one planted in the ground. That's kind of out of the way, so I'll ignore- Oh wait, I permitted this guy to live! No! <laughs> Why did I do that? Sagittarius, this was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I've now recovered 11 out of 30 parts. If I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Alright, now we rejoin the carnage. I am... Incredibly sorry, sir. I had a mental lapse, and I forgot that he was not in the way. Yikes. Alright, we don't need the pellet posy, guys. Come on. Alrighty, so this is where I wanted to go. Now that we have blue Pikmin, we can get down into the water here and throw ten of them up onto here to move this box. While they're doing that, let's get some Pikmin. I'm gonna want to take small groups across this bridge, especially if they're red. Or yellow. The less Pikmin that drown, the better. And we got him. But now over here, we got a wide open area, but it's a bird! I know John really loves this one. This is a burrowing snagrit. In all of his low poly glory of the days of old. He'll grab about, like, two or three Pikmin if he can get his beak on him and eat him. So the key is to just attack him in the head here. And he's down. He explodes into a chain of pellet posies. Should be... Oh, another bird! No, 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 no. How many people we got on this bird? Ow! Okay, don't hurt all the more. There's eight. We got nine total Pikmin. Oh, juke! Yeah! Alright, it's not really so much of a juke if he still gets you. Okay. I gotta start being a bit more cautious about how much damage Olimar's taking. Let's go get some reinforcements quick. See if my damage if my health gets pretty low, I can always return to the ship. Ah, sometimes you get stuck in the ground like that, and that's really your your chance to really do some damage. Nope, you're not hurting Olimar today. Oh, twice in a row. Down again. 
And there's my present. It's the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I, ac but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay any much attention to it. So it doesn't do much, it doesn't do me much good. I should really read that manual one of these days. I believe a Geiger counter is for radiation. And oddly enough, it is going off right now and making a lot of noise. Where are you guys going? There's a ledge right there. It's a perfectly good ledge. All right, as long as you guys can get across the I swear, if they fall into the water. Alright, I'm gonna trust that they've been conditioned to correctly. Okay, good. We're good. Why did I come this way? Can I sneak by? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, not even close. Oh, no, don't, don't get him, don't get him. Okay, good. Oh, okay. There's a uh, iridescent flint beetle landing pick or throwing Pikmin on top of him yields pellet posies and uh, nectar. Really nice. The last ship part's right over there. I may have time to get there today. Oh, he tripped. There's even a small little hole to here that you can bypass that gate entirely. I'm gonna heal up real quick. I've recovered 11 out of 30 ship parts, just one more- uh, he just says that I've taken this opportunity to repair my spacesuit. Thank you, Olimar. And there's that one last part we needed. Geiger counter. That noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. I've recovered 12 out of 30 ship parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. There we go. Ship's looking better and better every day. Now we've got a little like, egg beater on the top spinning around on it. It's probably some sort of satellite or something. gonna be close. Aha! Now in there seems to be a boss enemy of some sorts. Whether or not we can get to him, only time will tell. This is a darker wall, so this is a stronger, stronger wall, so it'll take more time. If we zoom out, we can see there's the last ship part in the Forest of Hope. Alright, one down, and the sun's just about to cross over that second-to-last bubble. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to defeat him. The 
if the counter starts before I even get in there, I might have to just call this a day. Now we're pushing fate. Alright, so this is an armored cannon beetle. And he's called that because he'll suck up air. That's when you gotta throw a Pikmin into his little hole there. Don't take that out of context. And then it opens up his back. And the day's ending. Ah! All right, all right. Don't fire, don't fire boulder, don't fire boulder, don't fire boulder. And he fired a boulder, okay. Okay, no one saw that. All right, we're cutting our losses. Everyone out, everyone out. All right. So, uh, we didn't hit his hole there. And we suffered the consequences of trying to rush through a fight. What a mess. Six days since impact. I have managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. 37 Pikmin. Oh, look at the blue numbers! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I... I built them up, only for them all to be crushed by a single boulder. Wow. The reds declined a little bit from the fight with the Snagrit, but... Yikes. 37 lost in battle today. That hurts. Alright, we'll get our revenge later. Next time on Pikmin, we'll be exploring the Distant Spring, our newest area. I'll see you guys then.